My competitors think I'm just some cocktail server from Dallas. Bree, 24, cocktail server from Dallas. <laughs> I guess they know you very well, Bree. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Justice. Today we're talking facepalm. Let's do it. Clients from hell. Me. How can I help you today, ma'am? Client. Is email internet? Me. I beg your pardon? Client. Is email on the internet? I have no internet. Can I still read my email? Me. Well, yes, you must be able to get online to view your email. Client. Oh, dear. I can't see my email. Me. Well, let's see. Can you open your Internet Explorer for me and tell me what you see? Client. Open what? Me. Your browser. Can you open your browser? Client. My... my... Me. What do you click on when you want to browse the Internet? Client. I don't use anything. I just turn my computer on and it's there. Me. Okay, do you see the little blue E icon on your desktop? Client. You mean I have to start writing letters again? Me. I'm... what? I'm sorry? Client. I don't have any pens at my desk. I just want my email again. Me. No, ma'am. Your desktop on your computer screen. Can you click on the little blue E on your computer screen for me? Client. Oh, this is too much work. I'm too upset. Just send me my email. Can't you send me my email? <laughs> me. We... Uh, okay, ma'am. Can you tell me what color the lights are on your router right now? Client. My what? Me. The little box with green or possibly a couple of red lights on it right now. It's most likely near your computer. Client. Uh, lights and boxes? Boxes and lights? Uh, just get my email for me. Me. My test is showing that you should be able to get online right now. Can you tell me what you're seeing on your computer screen? Client. It's been the same thing for the last two hours. Me. An error message? Client. No, just stars. It's black and moving stars. Me. Do you see your mouse next to your keyboard? Client. Yes. Me. Move it for me. Client. Move it? Me. Yes. Move it. Client. My email! <laughs> oh, this was awesome. Oh my goodness. This post gave me a freaking ulcer. Great way to start facepalm. Man spends five months at Rikers Island without knowing his bail was just $2. That is a failure on the part of the justice system. That's just despicable. Excuse me? They're not 35S. They are RC truck parts. I'm literally holding it in my hand. Oh, my bad. I thought your hands were big. This bird is gray. This bird is orange. Come on, man. Add some color for the kids. You're confusing them. Costumes of my children two years ago. Absolutely love them. Hey, do you remember Ashley? You hit and killed her with your car a few years ago, then fled the scene, got charged with a felony? This post makes me wonder if it was really an accidental hit and run, or if it was racially motivated. I'm gonna go with racially motivated. This is a stupid outfit, stupid costume, and it's not funny. You're poisoning kids' minds with this garbage. Let me show you the automatic safety sensors. Let's open the door here, hmm, okay, yes. The door is now open. I will demonstrate the auto safety feature. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Move your head, man. Move your, move your head, man. Move your... Oh my goodness, this dude is... Yeah, neck brace. <laughs> you need your head examined, Dumas. It's pretty weird to think about the fact that before Africa, before India, before America, the very first victim of British imperialism was the island right next to them, and they still haven't entirely left. Victim? Oh yes, because if I entered your house, albeit without necessarily double checking that I had your absolute approval, repainted it, added new upholstery, paid your television license, added a conservatory, and then left, roughly speaking, as soon as you asked me to politely, you would be my victim. Yes, you freaking dunce, because you didn't have my explicit permission to redesign my house to your own fancy. You can't just come in and change things around and think you're doing me a favor. This is my place. Just found out that Twitter automatically censors your credit card number. LOL. For real? <laughs> hey, it didn't work, bro. Yeah, it did. Thanks for your SSN. Gay porn studio under fire for using a didgeridoo as a dildo. Ouch. Quote, I'm gonna didgeridoo you in the assets. 
<laughs> Please don't. Russian scientists tracking eagles with SMS transmitters ran out of money after some of the birds flew to Iran and Pakistan and drew up huge data roaming charges. <laughs> I guess those eagles saw a chance to make a break for it and they took it. I'm out of here, man. Officials, trick or treaters beware, marijuana candy, edibles. Absolutely no one on the planet will give away their edibles for free to your children. Please grow up. Yeah, man, these things are expensive. Resolved question. Can you get pregnant from watching a health class video? Please help in a week. We are watching this video in health class, but I'm scared it will make me pregnant. Should I ditch and not take the risk? Oh my goodness. Please help. <laughs> not if you put condoms on your eyes. Safety first. Put on those safety goggles. Walter Stone, Oxford Street. Imagine your favorite book. Quick, buy it. Buy it from Waterstone. Uh, it turns out most of you already own a copy of your favorite book. Well, we haven't thought this marketing campaign through. Maybe we should buy a book on marketing. A newspaper in Bangladesh used photos of Dustin and Lucas from Stranger Things as pictures of footballer Samuel Umtiti and Antoine Graysman being friends since childhood. <laughs> well, they do look very similar. But Burger King is nasty. Their fries taste like potato. That's what fries are made of. Nobody is entitled to charge up any mobile phone or other electrical devices on these premises. It is theft of electricity and you may find a deduction has been made from your pay. Phones should be switched off. You are a terrible, terrible boss. Decisions, decisions. Been waiting over an hour in the internatal clinic. The couple next to me are debating whether they carry girl jeans or boy jeans and are trying to work it out based on what gender the children have been in other parts of the family and if they, as a couple, would be able to produce both sexes. Not sure if I should intervene. They are expecting a girl and want a boy. They are now discussing if they can ask the doctor for hormones to change the gender, but they are worried that might make the baby gay. Good lot, Lord. Gay babies. Hi, Graham, Abby. Hi, Abby, lovely to meet you. What do you do? Um, I'm an astrophysicist. Okay, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> uh, this is not gonna work out. <laughs> Too few brain cells. Well, what's your laptop specs? I won't give this laptop data. You can use them for the wrong purposes. How is me knowing your laptop's RAM and processor bad? I can't do anything with that. This is an HP mini laptop from 2003. This laptop is damaged. Not that. What's your specs? Processors, RAM, etc. I will not tell you such accurate data about this laptop. That I do not trust you too much. All right, we'll keep your broke laptop. Facebook won't ban fake news, but they will ban pre-app ads. It's all about the money, baby. Corrupt politics. So people really out here putting hot sauce in the fridge? The back of the bottle literally says refrigerate after opening, and y'all still put it in the cabinet. Y'all don't follow directions, and that's why y'all keep getting pregnant. <laughs> From hot sauce to pregnancy? Goodness, that's a stretch. But okay. I'm not pro-life or pro-choice. I'm pro-education. Teach people about birth control, cycles, the impact a child have. And teach about the pros and cons of having a baby and abortion. Neither is easy. Let women decide, but at least make it an informed choice. That's pro-choice. Dumas. The Atheist Delusion. This has a creator. 12 megapixels. iPhone. This came by accident. 576 megapixels. Which one was harder to design? Happy birthday to you. Whoa, who's up? There's a fire. Is that a hell? Notice the microphone, man. You better put that out. These mics are expensive, man. Put it out. <laughs> no more cakes in the studio. I'm in the studio. The Daily Caller. Millennials are so helpless they're taking adulting classes to learn how to do things like sew a button. <laughs> Those millennials. You had a few typos. I fixed it. Millennials are so motivated they're taking classes to learn the skills older generations failed to teach them. Yeah. We failed the younger generations. It's our responsibility to teach them how to be good adults. That's called parenting. Whoever designed this bathroom was a real peeping Tom. Go on, use the bathroom. No one's watching. Or are they? Seven students only. Someone left a phone in class today. Please let me know if you're missing one. 
text back to reply. Not to be that one guy, but I don't think they can text you if they have a missing phone. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The reason why Nazis in Charlottesville Torchlight Parade were unaccosted by the police might be because America's president is a fascist. They're not Nazis, just disaffected young white men asserting themselves. But this type of name calling pushes lots of us further right. I guess I got confused when they gave the Hitler salute and chanted blood and soil because it reminded me of who I fought in my youth. The moon looks like it's from outer space. No, dude, it's inside the dome. I'm giving one star because of the cheap management and customer service. I heard the food was very good, so I went to try. Me and the BF got the calamari, spaghetti alla vangole, and gnocchi. All were very delicious. I was actually so impressed that when the manager came to ask us how everything tasted, I told her it was some of the best Italian food I've had. And I told her I'm going to post about it on Instagram, where I have over 11,000 followers. And a lot of them are in the area. She seemed very happy about it. I was wrong. I thought that she would be grateful for the free advertising, but when the check came, there was literally no discount at all. I thought at least one of the entrees would be taken off, but they didn't even take off the calamari or even the drinks. I won't go back here because of this, which is a shame because the food was very good. The manager needs to understand how to treat a customer. Yes, when someone gives you free advertisement, you give them free food, duh. Why don't they just make wheelchairs with pedals? So when your arms get tired, you can just pedal to go. <laughs> genius idea. No genius. <laughs> if you're in a wheelchair, chances are you're a paraplegic and you can't walk, so you can't use your legs. During a pursuit last night, one of the occupants of the vehicle rang his mommy, who then rang 999, asking for the police cars and helicopters to stop following her son. Leave him alone. <laughs> We're sorry, lady. He's going to jail tonight. Nottinghamshire Police. Appeal. Robbery in Stapleford. Do you recognize this man? Um, yes, no, is it a ghost? Really, in <laughs> this blurry ass picture? The new seat belts will help, <laughs> will help prevent whiplash. Trust us. Man allegedly cuts finger off after snake bite to save my own life. But Doc says it was really unnecessary. <sighs> Better safe than sorry. I'm sorry, you're an idiot. Hey dude from California, there's a simple rule here in Colorado. Don't try and drive your Lamborghini in the snow. You will get stuck. Nice car though. Space Force is about exploration and finding out what's out there. But NASA does space exploration. NASA is only going to tell us what they want us to know. Whereas I think Trump will send his own stuff and we will find out the truth. Because Trump never lies. Okay. Trans athlete claims lesbians are transphobic for not liking penises. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, people today really disgust and irritate me. Oh no, it's going to rain on Halloween. I can't let my kid go TOT. Is there a rain date? For real people, grow a freaking backbone. It's going to be near 70 on Halloween. So what if it rains? I had to trick or treat in rain, snow, sleet, hail, sunshine when I was a kid. Take an umbrella and endure the weather. Stop babying your children. If this post offends anyone, oh well, can't help that. Sorry, not sorry. I really hate that phrase. Sorry, not sorry. Bring on the candy. But you were just on here the other day asking for a ride for your kid's school because it was too windy for you to walk. Yeah. Hypocrite. I'm gonna stay a virgin for life. Hmm. I want to set a good example for my son. What? Mary? Is that you? All right, everybody. That's all we have for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. If you made it to the end, then you are awesome sauce, my friend. Make sure you stay up to date by following the Snapchat and the Twitter. Until next time, justice served.